Hello, ladies, fish, and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mr. Foster Show. I am Mr. Foster, your host. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. Today's episode, I would like to speak to you about Abraham. Okay, we're going to be referencing some books here, your Holy Bible. No might or power or wisdom without Almighty God. We're going to be looking at the Book of Jasher, Book of Jubilees, a little bit of the Twelve Patriarchs, uh, Dead Sea Scrolls, you'll find this information. Okay, your Apocrypha, Testament of Abraham, Apocalypse of Abraham, can't really remember what that's called at the moment. And just for shits and giggles, let's throw in some Josephus, which is always a good resource. All right, who is Abraham? Why was he taken from his land? Why is he important? Why did the world switch from a matriarchy to a patriarchy? Okay. If you're a kook like me, you believe in 2000 BC or thereabouts, um, the Anunnaki kind of nuked themselves trying to get rid of um, Marduk and Inanna fighting over all the bullshit, right? Uh, so... Abraham's father, Terah, being the astronomer priest of Ur, is a cult center of Inanna, Ishtar. If you are going to nuke all of Ishtar's shit, you might want to get Abraham out of there, right? So that's what I think they did. They knew uh, things were going to start to go down. They were planning this. So Abraham, uh, being the astronomer's son, saw their planet and started to think, well, gee, there's a big universe out there. These guys aren't gods. They just came to Earth and aren't fucking around. I'm like, Abraham, hey, let's get this bro out of here. Are humans getting smart? This guy's a good egg. Hey, why don't we take this good egg and make a basket of good eggs? Huh, a light to the world to live by. Okay, and this is what I think the Hebrews were um made for and why they were set aside and what Abraham's purpose was all the way through Moses and up until now, right? Well, maybe the mission's been forgotten now, but anyway, political intrigue, double agents. So anyway, uh, Abraham is taken out of his country. Uh, there's three things there, out of his country, out of his land, out of his father's house. Okay, this is kind of like the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Why do you have to say three things? Well, these are important things. Abraham is getting out of Inanna's territory, getting out from under your father's uh, stupidity, and let's go build a new land, right? So you see Abraham then go to Haran and then down into Egypt, and he has his travels. And um, the first important step here is the three angels he's speaking to. Uh, match that with Sumerian stories. It's Enlil, Ninurta, and Nergal. Ninurta and Nergal were the ones in charge of uh, scouting out where they're going to drop the bombs. Uh, so there was no fire and brimstone rained on Sodom and Gomorrah. It was a fucking bomb. Okay, the seven weapons of terror. Um, it was actually in the new Dune movie they kind of ripped this off, right? Where they hide the atomics in the mountain and nobody knows where they are except a couple people, right? Same kind of thing. Uh, I wonder where they got that. Um, so Abraham is now like being trained to become the light of the world. Hey, we got to start setting this guy aside. Let's start introducing him around. Okay, that's why he goes to Egypt. That's why he goes to Canaan. That's why he plants his tent where he did. Crossroads. Abraham's the light of the world now. Hey, look at this. This is a righteous dude. He's cool. He lets everybody have his fruit. You know, come in, have a seat, drink some water. Okay, Abraham is proving that humans could be cool. Uh, go to Egypt. Hey, Abraham's cool. Go to the Philistines there. Hey, Abraham's cool. Anybody that fucks with Abraham has a hard time. Okay, ask Amraphel or uh, what's his nuts? Nimrod. So here we have Abraham being set up as um, the leader of a new 
patriarchy. Before this time, if you were a demigod, right, um, and your mother was the Anunnaki or goddess, you were two-thirds divine. This is what propelled Gilgamesh on his little dream there of um, let me go to the planet. I, I deserve immortality, right? So if your dad was an Anunnaki with an earth woman, you were just a halfie. If, if your mom was divine, you got a little extra. Now you're a demigod. Okay. So Abraham, in my mind, as most of these Hebrews are, especially Noah, many records about Noah being Nephilim or halfy or enhanced, manipulated, whatever word. I believe this entire line is basically, you, we're following the story of the descendants of Enki's, you know, illegal children. Right? So anyway, Abraham is like the best one. We finally got a guy. He saw the planet. He's smart. Let's, let's use this guy, right? He's capable of not being a fucking turd. Okay. Where was I? Okay, so now Abraham is, um, we brought him all the way up to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, circa 2000 BC, 4,000 years ago. He's so cool, he's negotiating. He knows these cities are full of crap. These are Marduk cities. They fuck each other in the ass all day. They steal, they rob. Don't go near them. Yet he's still going to, like, hey, there's still a couple good people there. And they're like, yeah, bro, but no. <laughs> we're going to go down there. Okay, we're going to check it out before we bomb the shit out of it. Just because you're so cool, Abraham. We'll go do it, right? We'll at least get Lot out of there. Uh, and, and then what happens when they get there? Okay, no need to go into that. I'll just start cussing and saying crude things. Boom, they drop the bombs, bomb everything. You know, that's why... India was nuked, cities of the plane were nuked, um, the Sinai has a nuke scar, Libya, pr pretty much anywhere where Ishtar and Marduk had strongholds or were trying to get a foothold, boom. All right, they know that humans are now going to be somewhat uh, elevated or left on their own. Uh, I'm not sure they anticipated the you know, the cloud of death that made them all fucking bug out. Uh, but perhaps some of them had a little bit of vision. And once again, the secret Abraham uh, scurrying away and hiding him away, and making him big and badass. Okay. So why the move to a patriarchy? What did you guys do that was so fucked up that in a post-apocalyptic humans left on their own scenario, you guys couldn't be in charge. Big question. Okay. You see a lot of things today of women being mad, patriarchy. You fucked up. Not us. Not the dudes. You fucked something up. What was it? Okay. You're insistence on witchcraft, your insistence on sucking the dicks of fucking Anunnaki gods instead of men. Okay, we, we still see the same things today. As soon as the low rider goes down the street, the crazy lights, the boom, 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 all the chicks come out. Oh, 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 look at that. All right, even chicks today don't like good dudes. Give me the fucking crap head. All right, okay, ladies, you fucked up. You couldn't be trusted to do the right thing, so they had to move it to a patriarchy. And Abraham, being the best dude, was the one where we're going to start to build from. Okay? I ain't making this shit up. Okay? Stack of bucks here. Read it yourself, gals. Sorry you're mad. Uh, but we had to switch to a patriarchy because men, for uh, what we are, we were still able to sometimes sort of do the right thing. You gals obviously couldn't because you got fucking bounced from your position, okay? I'm just half kidding, of course. Um, and plus, you know, I'm, I'm a little well-versed in the Gnostics, so I understand the female 
and we need you. We need you, ladies. You need us. Okay? We're a team. Okay? No one exists without the other one. Okay? So when you're dealing with the patriarchy versus matriarchy, you know, you have this modern times of matriarchy just wants to squash everything in its fucking way. This is it. Fuck you. It's like, well, no, the patriarchy still, like, lets everybody else play. You see the difference there? Matriarchy. We're good. Everything else sucks. Patriarchy. We all suck, but let's kind of be cool. Okay. Just my opinion. So Abraham is now building a patriarchy. Your father's line matters, not your mother's line. Okay. Now this is, we can get into bloodlines and selective breeding and why, 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 why all day. Um, we've touched on that in some previous episodes. You'll find the answers to these questions yourself if you do your work. You can't have people in charge who make emotional decisions or don't do the right thing based on reason A, B, or C. Men seem to be capable of doing this just a bit better. I'm not saying we're cool. We need you ladies, you need us. But this is why you were bounced and the patriarchy was put in. Okay, not our fault. Okay. So we get to Isaac. Okay. Abraham proves himself. Okay. We get to Jacob. And now we start to see, uh, or excuse me, um, Rebecca start to mess with Esau and Jacob. Esau is the oldest. He's the birthright. What, why is she messing with Jacob, getting him to trick his father and take the inheritance? Well, then you've got to get into bloodlines, okay? If these are half or these are demigods, the descendants of Enki, the description of Esau is important. The red hair, the hairy guy, okay? He was a... You know, kind of like if your grandma had blue eyes and blonde hair and then it skipped three generations and then you have a kid that looks like your great great grandma, everybody goes, Oh, what the heck? Is my fucking around? Or... No, it's all in there. So when Esau comes out, they're like, Oh crap, this dude's too much Nephilim. We need more of a Noah Jacoby kind of guy here. Uh so so that's why Rebecca stepped in and said, hey, lie to your dad, do all this, right? So you see a case of a woman doing kind of the right thing. Was that smart on her behalf or not? Uh, but we're thankful that Jacob was given the power and not Esau, because Esau obviously uh, was a bit of a jackass there. Uh, so now let's get to Jacob and his wives and the 12 patriarchs. These guys, every time they did something stupid, they repented, did the right thing, um, kept everything in line. The whole Egypt thing, indicating where we are now, would not have been possible if, uh, say, Moses was a girl or Jacob was a woman. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry, you, 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 it wouldn't have happened. Okay, you needed physically stronger people to do these things. People that would not listen to emotion. Okay, hey, kill your kid. Oh, okay. You, you think if you told Sarah to kill Isaac, she would have been like, okay, cool. No, hell no. Okay, I know that's unfair to Sarah. I didn't know her. Maybe she would have, but I doubt, doubt it, right? Moses, tough decisions. Hey, get rid of this guy. Kill them. Kill them. Okay, we know damn well the woman would have been like, well, their dad left them when they were three. Well, they had a hard time. Shouldn't we give them a break? No, no. You need a dude in there to be like, no, nah, fuck that dude. Gone. Okay. This is why patriarchy is there. Okay. It's not for any other reason than men are more capable of doing the right thing 
tough circumstances without taking other stupid fucking factors involved, okay? Hey, we need to get across this desert. A woman would have been like, well, we gotta go slow because there's an old person and little Johnny's crippled. And, and Moses is like, we ain't got the fucking time, let's fucking go. Okay, just kidding, calm down. Um, anyway, that's why I think Abraham was important. That's why the matriarchy was there. Um, and then it wasn't. Uh, we've been in the patriarchy ever since. Uh, do men fuck it up? And Yeah, okay, I'm not saying any of that. We're, we're, we're just building the base from why shit happened. Okay, we're not gonna spend four hours going into it. So basically, um, that's about it. Abraham was put in there because he was the righteous dude. Um, I'm not comparing him to Enoch or um, Adapa or anything like that. I don't think he was on that level, but he was close enough. Uh, he obviously did the right job. He couldn't be corrupted. And that's really the thing, right? Uh, the, the women got corrupted. The men, only half of them. <laughs> so, I um, hope this was informative. I hope you got what you needed to out of it. And let's do a quick review of where I got this information. Your Holy Bible. Your Book of Jasher. Your Book of Jubilees. Testament of the Twelve Patriarchs. Dead Sea Scrolls, Apocrypha, and stick your face in Josephus. All right, have a blessed day, everybody, and um, enjoy your day. Thank you.